Just the minutes from last week's meeting and didn't get a chance to write up uh, or print out the ones for the site review. I sent them in to Cheryl. Maybe they should be. Right in. Oh, you got them there. Yeah, okay. Oh, they were separate? I didn't. I haven't got to the signature. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. I do have a correction on the minutes. Yeah. There was you that brought up the need to appoint somebody to LRPC. Okay. Right. Do you have a copy? Do you have a copy of the minutes? Of mine? Yes. Um, yeah, what I just what I'd rather see you do is just in the uh, in these minutes put under corrections is that that line was changed from two. Okay. As opposed because those have already been posted. Right. Yeah, in a draft. Right. Do you understand? Please? Yep. Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, a, a comma or a misspelling, I'm fine with, but when it comes to an actual mention of a name, you know, it's just. Sure, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's no problem. Things happen. You'll find out that Lenny is the best proofreader at the table, I think. Somebody has to read it. I don't know, you know, the years I've worked with him, he keeps impressing me, he notices this stuff. It's just, you can't spell it. <laughs> Did you get 
It's just I can't hear stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, if it gets stuffy, we'll turn it back on. But just, just ask. You know, I'm trying to eavesdrop on the conversations going on in the back of the room. Well, I don't think I signed that. The number shocked me. I wrote it down. I just stopped my pen right down in there. Anything jump out in this one? Uh, this thing with the uh, vest? I'll look into that. Yeah, yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah, I'll spend some time on that tomorrow um, with, with the office and see what we're doing there. Nice job on the news, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. In spite of that glaring error. I'll do better next time. <laughs>
agenda for some point or something mm -hmm. to talk about that. Let's uh, look at the uh, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I both with the same comment. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd do a small summary and get a little more information and then pass it on and see what we have to do about it. All set? Yeah. Okay. Do you pledge allegiance, folks? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with life and justice for all. For all. So, <laughs> the first time I blew it in five years. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So I make a motion we accept the minutes of June 13th as presented. There was one correction which will be referenced in the next uh, Next, and that was merely the change in uh, Mr. Espy's name to Mr. Spencer's name. Okay. Uh, so, with that consideration, I make a motion that we accept the minutes. Second. Seconded by Lenny. Um, any discussion? No. All those in favor say aye. 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 And we had a uh, manifest of $407,737.38, which represents a, a school payment, which is the reason it's so high. So, I make a motion that we accept the manifest as presented. A second. Second from Lenny SB. Any discussion, guys? No. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, Thank you. All right. Uh, public comment. And as I did say, uh, we are having an abbreviated meeting tonight, so if your public comment could be kept brief, that would be handy. So, any public comment? Okay. In the back. Yeah, Tom Hatch, School Street. I just saw it on the head. Are you going to be going on? Update us on Elm Street Bridge, what's going on? Anything going on with that? Or? Yes, we can. Yes, okay. Um, um, I was uh, curious if um, the beaver traps are coming into Hobbs Road at any time because they, they're hard at work. And, and it's constantly taking a citizen's effort to keep the road from flooding out. Right? Well, but uh, okay. I believe the contractor came through Monday morning with the mini. And, right. uh, it out, but it's still okay. Open. I don't have a problem keeping it open. I'm just hoping the traps. Right. Are yeah. Uh, I don't want to make it a summer time. I cleaned the note again today. Did you? <laughs> okay. I do have a thing. I'll just put that down. We'll pick that up when we get to it. Okay. Um, because we do want to try to get this one thing done. You want to go straight to the Stevens Road concern now? Well, public content. Well, we, I, mean, I had two hands. Came out. Anybody else? Oh, oh. Yeah, from the selectman's office. So I did receive a letter or an email that we were asked about for the um, violation on the, in the historic district, yep. Castriata. So with no responses, it's been every like every other month that we've been the attorney's been contacting them. So the attorney is going to start um, the proceedings for file. Filing the action in Superior Court to okay. enforce the ordinance. Okay. That would be a, that's our next step. So it's going to be he's going to be put together. All right. That's um, that one. Um, 
with regard to this, there was, and I won't give any names, but there was a letter from an attorney's office in there, and I just wanted to, so all of you were here to hear it, is that we need to stick to our decision that was made. Basically, they're reviewing what was discussed right. at that meeting, and they're trying to get you to change your yeah. mind. The individual did come in and sign the waiver. Okay. Committed yourself. So I wanted all of you, because I heard you're going to come in tomorrow, Henry, and look at it a little right. bit further. And I think that's it for now. Okay. Um, the, the question that was asked by Eckman and Stevens Row because they sent what's called a, a, it's a Gantt graph, which is just when they plan on having certain things filed and dates and stuff like that. There is a copy in the office now, and this is for the Stevens Road for the Stevens Road project when they anticipate having stuff done. And there was uh, one recommendation that came out of Acton was the fact is, is that we had, uh, that they had to have like a procurement. Huh? The procurement policy? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, when I just read the letter, when I first heard the term procurement, I thought that it related to the policy and it was a question from the attorney and from the, uh, or from them. Uh, and, and I'm trying to understand is when he mentioned procurement in there, is he talking about the policy or is he talking about something different than that? Because when I did get to read it again, I suddenly had a question that I read it wrong well, the first time. Don't we, don't we have to put it out in yeah, 30, 30 days? days. So 30 four, days. Yeah. So it's four weeks. So that's yeah. what he's referring to. And I right. don't think he asked if maybe we could shorten that up, but I don't believe we can. No, not as far as the policy goes. Right. It, has it has to be, to be what it 30 is. 30 days. Right. And the reason that he wanted it shortened up so that we could make the September 1st deadline. Right. And when we did, uh, we had a site meeting with him at Elm Street, and the question was brought up about um, uh, Stevens Road in the sense of when it absolutely has to be done in the sense of being uh, not too much frost. I mean, it technically can be done. Right. Yeah. Right. I, and he didn't it, seem to think that there was a terrific problem with getting it done a little later in the season no. that we were attempting. I mean, for. the only reason he's going on September first because he asked for what? When would you like it done? Right. And it's, well, it's a school bus route. So right. Maybe before school starts. That's right. why he's going yeah. on September first. Right. And the primary concern from the public and the selectmen's point of view is, is that as long as we have a, a set, I won't say set in stone, but set in, in, a, in policy when certain aspects of this are going to happen and it will be done before winter comes and Stevens Road will be finished this year, um, it doesn't look like um, you know, the extra time required by the procurement policy is going to prohibit that from happening this year. Is that your take on it? Because that's mine when I look at the graph. It's, you know, yeah, we would have liked to have it done as soon as possible, but as long as it's done within the parameters of the equipment, the uh, golf well, we're putting in and the earthwork required and stuff like that. When, when's the permit? When, when is the permit up? Oh, that's good for, uh, was that two years? Yeah. Or five years? Five years. Five years. Five years. Yeah. September 30th is, is essentially when, at that point, if you go beyond September 30th, you probably have to reach out to the Department of Environmental Services and ask for some sort of an extension or something. Right. And if you're further, far enough into the project, you probably would yeah. okay. assume I'm making a huge assumption. Because they, they figure September 30th is the end of low water. Yeah, and, and there again, this year we haven't experienced low water yet. Yeah. Yeah. So right. they might be a little more forgiving for a lot of projects. Last year we okay. had it all year. But uh, Lenny and John, it strikes me a reasonable question to ask them is, is that if we do extend that out for the time period that we need is to make sure that, that any permits that require a review because of a later date, we make sure that they're aware of it. I mean, hopefully they, they would be because that's their job, but I'll double check <coughs> and make sure. Extensions needed. And I'll just drop a line in and make sure that that's part of their consideration tomorrow. I mean, he was just basically concerned that with this schedule, it's only 16 days for the contractor to complete the job. Right. You know, and that's yeah. kind of pushing it. Well, and then the other things that he did mention in there is, is that if you allow it longer, then they can fit it in there and you might get a better price exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But, I mean... I mean John, I mean, I'm kind of in the position where, where we're hiring an engineer. It behooves us sometimes to really consider his advice as far as what he thinks may allow the town to get a slightly better price. Well, no, it says right there. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, but as long as we're we're right in with the with the uh, with the permit right timeline, yeah, it's 
end of September. I okay. mean, if going into October, then you're going to have to get an extension. Right. Because it's right. I think that the, the permit is at right. the end of September. Right. Okay. Well, as I said, I wrote down, and I'll, I'll make sure that they understand our concern on that. This is an extension of the permit. You know, but Edmund did that tell us day. last year that even though it says uh, the low water at September 30th, he says you can still go ahead and do it as long as you have a plan for water diversion. Right. So. Which just costs more money, which yeah. is what you yeah. have to watch out for. So, right. Yeah. I mean, you still got to convert the water anyway. So. Right. Yeah. All your plans, basically. The, one, the composite plans that you had, the really full ones, they were all listing uh, one of the version in your plans. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the decision that we need to give to them is, is that, yes, uh, take the extra time that you think required or that they were requesting? Yeah. I mean, that's the way to phrase it. As long as I we mean, end up at the end of September. Right. Yeah. They okay. can finish it by the end of September. Yeah. Okay. We can't change the 30 days. No. All right. So when I get in touch with them, I'll say it's required by end of September, but not to begin by end of September. And then again, the question on per any extensions we might need on a permit because of the slightly later day. But his recommendation and what he'd like to see us attempt to do, well, is pretty much acceptable. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. any other decisions needed on Stevens Road at this time? If we notify the school district, they can yes. come up with a plan B for their okay, bus thank route you. for that short time. I have the contact information. I've been in touch with them as things have changed. So I'll keep them. So that's for the bus route. That's yeah. for the bus right. route. Right. Okay. Thank you, Lenny. Anything else? Considerations as a result of the change of date? I'll just extend it to the end of September. Or yeah. Or okay. Well, that's essentially what he was asking yeah. us to do. So we're saying yeah. yes, but we have these concerns. Okay. So uh, again, there's nothing else that we particularly have to sign. We have an agreement to do them. We'll just let the office, we'll let them know that we agreed with what they put forward. And, and I'll let the office, uh, I'll just give a little note of what our concerns was with the extended date. So as it stands right now, uh, we're well on our way to actually having Stevens Road completed this year. <coughs> Stevens Road culvert completed. And it looks like the bids will go out on the 24th. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. John, um, because of the abbreviated meeting tonight, is there anything particular you wanted to bring up that sort of out of sync on the agenda? No, I, no. We can, okay. We can be in whatever I don't care. Well, if we think we need to, yeah. I mean, we do have the work session next week, and then uh, you'll notice that one of the things is uh, 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 number eight on the agenda is proposed work sessions. Uh, the uh, ZOE uh, guidelines sent to attorney. Right. Um, we were going to look possibly look at snow shoveling, which may not be the most important thing to do this coming week. Uh, the new guys on beaver concerns, because of an issue brought up, John, it made a lot of sense. I mean, I know that we have, the town has traditionally, at the town's expense, removed beavers that threatened town roads. Right. You made a good point, is, is that that's the town going on to a private pro property owner and picking up the bill for getting rid of beavers that are causing a problem from a private property owner's perspective, from private property. Uh -huh. So do you think that the way we've done it in the past, we should stop doing? Yeah, we're not allowed. I, I don't believe that we are allowed to expel town money on Okay, right, so, and as I said, that makes sense to me, but the position is is that we have to deal with the beaver when the problem right. is there. So we're, we have a, we're trying to protect Tom property. Right, yeah, we have a system on Hobbs Road right now where the beaver really needs to be taken care of. So what you end up doing in that case, let me see if we're playing this right, is the town takes care of the beaver and then sends the bill. Well, no, the, if, no, 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 you missed it. No. Okay. On Bailey Road. The beaver dams are well within. You can't get a bucket in there to get them out. Okay. You, there's a procedure you go by. You notify the landowner, right. saying that there is a dam potential, a yeah. potential of this road, yeah. and the beaver dam is on your property. Right. You, it's up to. It's your obligation to take care of it. Right. However, if it does impede the destruction of the road, we as the town will fix it, obviously, 
Right. But the owner will get the bill. Okay. And then you could lien the house or property right. to get that bill. So we pick a for instance as opposed to something that's actually happening right now. There's a culvert that's being blocked up by a beaver. Mm -hmm. We go in, we figure out who owns the land, but we have to deal with it because the road's in yep. danger, right? We deal with it, and then we inform the property owner that a beaver on your property created a situation, blah, blah, blah. The town is taken care of, but here's the bill. Yeah. Okay, and then if they don't pay the bill... You say, you know, you've got to go to another avenue. Okay. Now, are you familiar, is this a way in another This town? is how... No, this is how we did it in our town. Okay, yes, I, yeah, I, I was always just sort of under the impression that the town ended up just paying the beaver guy. They've no, actually, the landowner said, I don't, want, I don't want to get the bill to reconstruct Granite Road. Okay. And he had it, well. Okay. When 22 cents. So at this point, there's no, nothing to stop us from, we have a situation at Hobbs Road of telling the guy to go out and trap those beavers. Yeah. And then we just have a billing process that happens afterwards. It's but. just a, a matter of, Okay. it's right Right by the road. Right. I mean, it's the yeah. culvert's in the town right away. Okay. So, so it's, it's our obligation to get rid of okay. it. Okay. So I look at this as if, if something the selectmen are going to do is possibly going to cost a, ta a, a property owner money, is I make a motion that we got, get in touch with the animal control, with his, Mr. Nason out of Ossipi, and have him yeah. dispatch the beavers that are on the culvert on Hobbs Road. That's a motion. I'll second, second that. I got a second from Lenny. Any yeah. discussion? No, okay, so all those in favor? All right. All right. All right. Okay. I, John, the only reason I put no, it on no, the motion is there's money involved. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. This is a good way to do it, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, that works out for me. So that takes care of the question from the back on the beavers. So you want me to call him? Yes, yeah, if you don't mind, Len. Yeah. All right. Mr. Um, Chairman? Yes. Zoning enforcement officer will not be here this evening, but the fire department is here. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry about jumping ahead. Uh, any particular concerns with the fire department, Randy? My only like concern is um, we're uh, renovating the inside of the building, building shelves, getting stuff off the floor, and we need to purchase some uh, materials. I don't know if we could go up $500 worth of materials to get stuff off the ground, off the floor. And which budget are you proposing to take it out of? Oh, that would come out of town building. Yes, town building fund? Yeah. Um, yeah, if you just get a list of what the requirements are and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I don't have a problem. That's what the... No, I, I'd like to see what you're going to do with it. Right. Okay. Make a quick sketch. And... Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that something you need to purchase the materials before next week? No. Okay. Because, I mean, I, we could put it on the agenda for the work session to review what you put forward. Is that acceptable to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, review... Fire department proposal. Okay. Anything else? I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot you, Randy. I'm just, <laughs> you put me out of sync. I'm like a museum tour guide that just can't get back on track. Um, I do know you came in late. We generally have public comment, but we did a very abbreviated. Did you have something you desperately needed to speak to? Uh, well, about? The rental that we're renting up here on Ironworks Road, the septic is. Over, well, I had the state come down to look at it. Yeah. They want to know if I reported it to the town. Okay. That's why I'm here. Okay. And it's overflowing and it's running. It has been for years. Right into the Lake. Okay. So can you give me the, the number of the property? Seventy-seven Ironworks. Seventy-seven Ironworks. Is this uh, visible from the street? Uh, no, it's out behind the trailer. But okay, understanding that municipal officials have a very restricted ability to go on to a piece of property. Is there any way that, that you think that a person standing on the street could verify or have a suspicion? That well, we ran it, so you come in down the road. Okay. Does right. that state. work in the sense that he's not the property owner, but he's a renter? So, yes, he can invite anybody on the property he wants. That's right. right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Makes sense but to you? Yeah. You have to go through the owner. She's been notified. Hmm? She's been notified oh, the, by the state. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. And okay, so actually, it's a state issue. But so uh, it will be reflected in the minutes. If they ask you, did you notify the town? You have now notified the town. Okay, and, and that'll be reflected in the minutes. Timmy Mason. Timmy Mason. 
All right. So in a sense that they asked you that question, I think yeah. you, you've met the criteria they were asking. Right. Did you yeah. inform the town? Even right now, I'm running right across the lake, happy Okay. And she knows it. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. And, uh, and she uh, also sucked it out three times with a sump pump and a garden hose. Right in the little stream that runs around the driveway, <laughs> and that runs in Dawson's Lake. Okay. That's ridiculous. All right. Um, I, you've done your due diligence as far as the state's concerned. Um, and it, it's as a state issue. They may get in touch with us as health officers for the town to do some follow up and stuff like that. But uh, it's kind of like on our plate of what we're dealing with, and I'll make sure that it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So something accepted. Oh, yeah, yeah. John, uh, John and Lenny, tomorrow when I come in, I'll just do what I can to make sure that gets put into process and okay. what we need to do. And do you want it? I'll leave it with Sarah. All right, thank you. Um, there was one other thing. If you run a junkie, are you supposed to have a junkie up in there? Yes. 1039 on the corner of 25 and Green Mountain Road. Up on the hill? Yep, as a half Okay, um, that would be. It's a question of, again. This is is this is something we can see from the road and what. Oh. Yes. Especially in a winter. Home. He's got like it looks like eight to ten campers, old John guys. Okay. Well, I, what I say is right now. This I'm not going to give you exactly what our reaction is going to be to that, but you brought it to our attention and the, we can notify uh, Rebecca. Right. She can yeah. Notify. Okay. She Yes. Okay. And then we can just ask her for an update mm -hmm. on how it's mm -hmm. going. Update from Rebecca. All right. Thank you, sir. Anything else? No, no. Okay. Okay. Any good news? Any good news? We got to go. Right that's, where we gotta go. So, so do we. that's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Uh, thank so you. So at the work session right now is is that we're going to review the fire department's uh, proposal, uh, new guidelines for beaver concerns. We pretty much took care of that. Um, we will probably do some discussions on changes to scrap metal and white goods that we're considering at the transfer station. Um, we might open a discussion on winter road contracts, but we also have, um, we need to, we're going to work on a grading schedule, um, right? That's one thing we need to do, right? Yeah. Grading schedule. And the reason I'm saying this is that these are the items that we'll be dealing with at the work session. And in a work session, we don't spend money at work sessions. Right? We don't vote to spend money. Uh, generally speaking, um, we're trying to confirm what we will bring up at the next meeting. Uh, but we don't take a lot of, I mean, I almost never take a vote at a work session. But, but it is open to the public, but public comment isn't part of the program. Um, I'm looking over the agenda. Do any of you, because we need to leave in a few minutes, do any of you see anything that we need to bring up right now? Mr. Hart never got his question. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Um, we, we went down and did a, a site review with the uh, Ekman Engineering. They looked at the rust concerns, and it's pretty much what we had expected, what we got from before um, from the state report. But one other thing that he did find out is that there's a crack in the cement retaining wall underneath the bridge. So he's going to figure what the price would be to chip out below the crack and then reface that. The, what did those inspectors before we got a... A bid in when we have to put the work out. Uh, we put a uh, we put a RFP out, or we had a bid come in based upon the report from the state. And the state's report, um, I don't remember reading anything about a foundation problem. It could be something that happened because of what's happened before. Right. But uh, <laughs> essentially, what they were talking to us about is the method that they're going to use to fix it. Is what we've been looking at in the in the past. But now we're starting to use engineering firms, and so they're going to put together the proposal and stuff like that. So we put it out there. It'll be as professionally done as they're capable of producing. Do they foresee a huge cost on this? Um, well, he kind of I, he was told essentially what we had been uh, what we had raised to do the particular job, and he figures that he didn't tell me that we couldn't do it within that figure. That's the best I can say. Um, until he runs the numbers and stuff like that, he wasn't going to say, yes, I can do it, you know, it should be for less. He just said that it sounds like a reasonable amount. So all we can do is wait and see what he comes back with. And that bid, what, that, what Eklund said, was with the repair of the concrete. 
the other bid was just painting. They weren't repairing. Right. Yeah. You know, the repair of the concrete is new. Right. And it, 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 but anyway, he, was it, gonna, he was going to make that a separate line. Right. Stuff. So. Right. So there's a possibility that, that the rust should be dealt with, and if we only have enough money to deal with the rust, then we just raise the money to deal with the cement problem next. It isn't something that the bridge is going to fall apart. It's something that you're trying to prevent further repairs ten years down the road. But so there's going to be another one that could run live to add on to the ones we have yeah. now, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it, well, it's not in danger of doing that, but his opinion being is is to deal with the problem now because it's the least expensive time to deal with the problem because it's at its it just started as opposed to getting worse. So. So maybe we should start with the crack first. <laughs> well, well, let's see. We fix it while you're there. Well, I mean. Yeah, but he also, all on good, but when he also did down. say that the rust is an issue. That is, yeah. Oh, I so we'll wait to see what his report was when he comes back. Yeah, so right. support. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, I just thought everybody's yeah, aware. He didn't say this. You know, you shouldn't be driving. I mean, it's it's just started, and yeah. it's going to okay. get worse and worse and worse yeah. and worse. But right now, it's eminently repairable. And um, I didn't think to ask, will a year make a huge difference? But from what he was saying, it doesn't sound like if we can't. Get the money to do both that we shouldn't do either. Get so. on the phone. Yeah, might be a good question to ask him though. Hmm? Might be a good question to ask him though. Well, we kind of, yeah, no, we will. When he sends back the report and says that here's the well, what the concrete's going to cost and here's what the other stuff is going to cost, if we can do it within what we raised, great. If we can't, because then it's a question of what his estimation on, you know, the bids come in. Yeah, you should be able to get a bid for this amount because he's not going to. Tell us how much. Right. You know, he's going to tell us what to anticipate in a bit. Yeah. So. Thank you. So yeah, there it is. Um, just real quick on that Beaver Dam, on the yep. Beaver issue on Bailey Road. How many dams were out there? Uh, Bailey. Yeah. He counted four as far as he went. And but he they only, and he only and he only removed one. But well, the, the other three, the water was going over. In around. Yeah, you know, the other three are not the reason that the water is high at the bridge. Yeah, right. I don't think I don't think the dams were hot. Well, well, I, yeah, well, I, I tried to rain. raise. No, no, <laughs> I didn't try to raise any more. The rain too. Yeah. And now you know, know. Now that he's been out there and looked at it. Yeah. You know, he told us it's not the dams. It's right. just the high it's water. It's the high water. Yeah. 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 And I did clean them out today, so yeah. one side is. One may be plugged up, I'm not sure. It's not running as fast as the other one, but right. I guess the other one's running pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Be but he said there's, a, there's a good current down through the river. So. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, I'm about to go to public comment. Oh, I'll ask oh. either of you two have oh. anything to It's pertaining to Beavers. How, so, how do we know? Know what? I mean, he, he mentioned to me that he got three Beavers. But how do you know when a Beaver, do they come and show you? Oh, I mean, bring the ears in? Yeah. I don't How know. How do we know? Yeah. And what do they do with them? I think they ask Mike that. Well, he, they, uh, this time of year, they probably use them for coyote <laughs> baby. All right, um, so everybody's aware um, those things <laughs> that were either listed at this meeting or on the underneath for proposed work sessions will be amongst the things that we discussed. We may not discuss all of them. So, and that'll be, John, just 5 o'clock next Tuesday? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Lenny, good for you. Yep. Okay. And please announce the next regular selectmen's meeting. This is July uh, or Monday. Monday the third. July third. Right. Monday, July third. It's a holiday. No man. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, we got to run. What? what? Oh, was, was there more public comment? Yeah, I, had, I was going to know one thing is the, the lake has dropped about three inches on my dock on Providence Lake this last week. Uh, other than that, I was going to ask, uh, I know you got the application in for snow roads, wetlands permitting. I didn't know if that is a major impact or a minor. I was thinking it's probably a minor wetlands permit. Um, right, I know it does. Okay. Can't answer the question specifically. I do know that, that they were... The methods that they were using required the lowest degree of uh, permitting because of the methods that they were using. And that may not take 75 days then? We don't know the right. permitting? Yeah. Well, the permit's been it's signed. The, uh, he said it shouldn't be too bad because it's improving the flow of the river by taking out the culverts. So he said there shouldn't be any problem at all. Right, but does it take the 75-day permitting process? He didn't. He didn't. Lesser? 
he didn't say. But um, well, as I said, I'm hoping to get what they call a Gantt graph on that particular project. They should be putting the work together on it right well, now. I didn't know we, we, we need to go. Line is a bit askew and you've gotten your um, RFP in on the 6th of June. Yep. In fact, your application is 25 days. Later. Yep. Not that that's going to stop the project. Yeah. It's just your RFP is overdue for you to Okay. I, I, I'll make a motion that we have to adjourn. Do you want Second. to adjourn or you're going to so. just. So if you, if you come back? Come back, if we have the work session on Tuesday, it should cover it. We got the one critical time thing done, right? The beavers are being taken care of. So if there's any particular reason I need to come back after the school? I see none. John, you happy enough? Yeah, sure. Okay. Congratulations, guys. I hear you're all graduating in sixth grade tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I'll add that. It is one thing I had graduated from in the Let's just turn shine on it, isn't it? So, uh, motions are all in favor. Say hi, John. Did you notice Steve's car has a lot of two of them?